I'm Alan Atkin, and this is my wife, Kelsey Atkin. And the summer of 2023 will be a year that we will never forget as we became a family of six through the gift of adoption. So we formally started the adoption process in late of 22, but there was really years ahead of this for uh, thoughts and preparations in our family. So I always knew I wanted to adopt. God laid that on my heart at a young age that I would want to adopt or be in, in the foster care system. But I was kind of waiting for Alan to have God put that on his heart. He wasn't quite ready when I was. And so we just waited for that time to come. Yeah, and I finally got on board through a church event that we did with some of our closest friends. I just really felt the Holy Spirit just call our family to adopt. Initially, we wanted to adopt from China but with COVID, that essentially shut the adoption process down in China. Our country quickly changed to Bulgaria. This was because of the age of children that were available to adopt in Bulgaria and also the amount of time it was going to take to adopt. We were blessed to only have to wait 18 months to bring Svet home. Uh, we've been also super blessed to have an awesome community around us. So we've had lots of close friends that have adopted both domestically and internationally. And that's been a huge blessing for us as we worked through the process. I mean, we had lots of real conversations about the challenges, the struggles, the highs, the lows. So that, that was a huge blessing for us. And we just knew that God played a huge part in that and putting those families directly in our path. So I remember sitting down, filling out the paperwork for the adoption and the medical checklist came and it was one of the hardest things we've ever had to do. Lots of prayer, lots of research, lots of trying to figure out what God had in store for us. We really had to rely on God through all of it. We had to give it all to Him, and we knew that He was going to handle whatever He put in our path. And I just remember God's faithfulness uh, early in the process when we were praying with a group of guys at the church. And I remember he specifically said the son or daughter that was predestined for our family. And looking back on it now, I can see how God just said, Svet, you are going to go to this family because it was a short 18 month period, which was way faster than normal. And Svet actually was placed with another family but they backed out last minute, and then we were matched with him for about a month after that. So the grant we received from Beauty Amidst the Ashes was the final funding we needed between trips one and two to get back to Bulgaria to bring Svet home. Um, and you could see God's hand in all of that as well as everything else through our adoption process because that funding came just at the right time and the right amount that we needed to get back to Bulgaria to bring yeah. Svet home. We're so thankful for those who have supported Beta financially uh, and through your financial support, you're, you're supporting families like us uh, through the adoption process, but more importantly, you're really supporting the adoptive child and bringing that child home. So yeah, not only are you supporting the people like us bringing children home, but you're also supporting families um, to attend the wonderful HOPE Conference that is put on by Beauty Amidst the Ashes. We have had the privilege to go to the HOPE Conference the last two years, and we wouldn't trade that for the world. We've met so many families to support us, and we've heard so many speakers that encourage us along the way. Um, we just can't thank the donors to Beauty Amidst the Ashes enough. Yeah, so thank you.